Hey everybody. Today I decided to cook something light. Um, this is good as a side dish or you can add um, meat and make it your main dish. But today it's just going to be a side dish. Um, I am going to make um, some bok choy and with some sauteed vegetables. Um, I have uh, broccoli here and I have uh, leeks instead of onion. It gives it a different uh, taste, a different flavor. I have uh, shredded carrots. Um, it's literally, it's a whole carrot, um, but I use the potato peeler um, to just make it a little, a little different, a little fancy, something different than your normal uh, chopped up or shredded carrots. And then I have uh, green, yellow, and red bell pepper. A little bit of sweet and savory in there and of course um, I have a uh, chopped up bok choy minced garlic and then the seasonings for today is everyday essential and um, I'm gonna use the bagel seasoning who needs a bagel so my pan is heating up and I'm going to use some extra virgin olive oil And the first thing I'm going to do is start sauteing um, the broccoli because that will take the longest to cook. Um, you can use any kind of vegetables. You can actually use um, chopped up spinach. You can add uh, arugula at the end. You can add mushrooms. You can add regular onions instead of the leeks. Um, you really can um, add any veggie you want. Uh, summer squash. So first I'm going to put in my broccoli. Let that cook for a minute. And of course it's going to soak up a little bit of the oil. You can always add a little bit more um, later if you need to as you add your other veggies in. And I have it on medium heat. And the consistency, the texture that you want to cook it to um, just depends on how you like your vegetables. If you like your vegetables really done, then of course you'll saute them longer. Um, but I uh, like a little crunch to my veggies sometimes, um, so I won't cook them as long. Plus, they'll continue to cook. Uh, throughout this whole process. Okay. And then next I'm going to add uh, some leeks. And I use the tops and the bottoms. Um, this is a good alternative to regular onion because you can also use it as a finisher. Um, or you can incorporate it into the meal. It just gives it a, a different flavor and it takes away from the mundane everyday um, ingredients. And I am going to add just a touch more oil. And then this would be a good time to add some of your everyday. I like to season in layers because they unfold differently as you cook. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of the bagel seasoning. And I'm only going to put a little bit um, because I want some of the oils from the sesame seeds to um, start to incorporate into the olive oil. So that will give it another uh, depth of flavor. And this is the point um, that I would add uh, my minced garlic. I don't add uh, mixed garlic in the beginning because garlic burns very easily and once it burns it gets a, a bitter taste and then it takes away from your dish. Okay, and then I have the carrots. Like I said, I used 
the potato peeler and just um, you know scraped along the carrot to get these cute little pieces some of them curled but they're really thin you can see how thin that is so um, they won't take long to cook at all and then we're going to add those that looks good just like that those in there and now for the main attraction which is the bok choy and I use the dark leafy part all the way up to the close to the root to the stem Just need to get a, a different utensil because it's getting, getting kind of serious. And then I'll add some more seasoning. Here every day. A little bit more of the bagel. Okay, then you just kind of move that around, flip it, turn it, and I usually cook for uh, a lot of people, so um, other times I get the big pan out, which I almost should have did that today, but we're going to make this work. And this dish, like I said, you can add a protein to it if you want. Um, you can add uh, nuts to this if you'd like. And I think um, even like maybe finish it off with some dried cranberries uh, would be really good also. And I'm going to add just a little more because it will wilt as you cook it, as you can see. Then we're going to add some peppers. Okay. And this is a, um, like I said, a great vegan dish, vegetarian. Um, if you, this is good for a raw vegan diet as well because you, only cook it to 100 degrees so you probably stop pretty much at this point um, if you were doing a raw vegan challenge you can always eliminate the sodium if you're on a low sodium diet And there's other uh, spices you could uh, vary, uh, variate this with um, that I make. Um, so you could use the no salt seasoning. You could use um, the steak essential would be really good on this. And um, I believe the bird would taste really good on this as well. Okay. And see that's the pretty much the consistency that I like. Uh, my broccoli, I like it to be bright, still bright green. And you see how quickly the carrots cooked um, because they were thin, so you didn't have to cook them as long. And like I said, the peppers, um, they're pretty much done because they were chopped pretty, pretty small. Okay, so then now we're just going to plate, turn, fire off. That look good. And it smells delicious. 
And like I said, you can add any veggies, favorite veggie, squash. We're just going to go ahead and put all that on there. Lightly garnish, finish it off with some who needs a bagel seasoning because really I've put this on everything but a bagel so far. You can even add a few scallions, a few leeks on top of there. Okay, and there you have it. Simple, easy, quick. Um, and it's a light meal. Um, and if you are dieting, if you're doing keto, this is perfect. Okay. So thanks for tuning in. And I will post the links to the seasonings um, in the comments.